Hi everybody. Um, now, today I want to talk about components, um, parts that we, uh, where can you get parts and stuff like that now. I'm going to start with the bad news. <clears throat> Firstly, if you look at the piston, you've got now the piston head over here, you've got now the con rod over here. Now the con rod has got two parts, you've got the big end and the small end at the top. Inside of the big end, you will find these things, which is called bearings, by the way, big end bearings. <clears throat> and, um, well, I've looked at so many places, I wanted to find these things. Uh, it seems that what I have in my hand doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, I don't know what we are going to do. There's a little bit of damage on this. Um, also, uh, when you look at the sump, and you will see it from my previous videos, inside of the sump there's no damage, no rust, no nothing, it looks like. Uh, so I was wondering if my theory was even correct when it came to this. Um, that there was water in the sump, but my mechanic showed me um, inside of this you will see there's a lot of rust, not a lot of rust but there's evidence of rust <clears throat> and you know these things were inside of oil for quite some time okay so uh, a little bit on the better news part we did get hold of um, rings rings piston rings we did get hold of piston rings uh, now on the box there's written Sabaru 1.1 liter Datsun 4 cylinder so these rings are not made for this engine but it uh, we've measured it and we've looked at everything and it works it's going to work it's going to be successful um, that's not our problem as such over here we have the head um, we've got still two valves um, remaining in the head uh, we are just to know where they are and where they are going to fit into we only removed the bottom I say the bottom two valves, but uh, let me turn it over for you so that you can see. We have removed these two valves. Uh, so those two valves, they are, that's where they go. And also this is what the valve looks like, although I've cleaned it already a little bit. Um, this is what it looked like beforehand. This is the other one. I still have to clean it. Okay. Um, also, this is an example of the, the, the springs. This one hasn't been cleaned yet. This one has been cleaned. So, now to remove these valves, what you need is a special type of tool. Okay. And uh, that will remove these valves for you. You will see on this end, it actually fits nicely onto this part. Let me show you quickly over here. Fits nicely onto that part over there. So, yeah. Um, we had to use a little spacer at the back, so just to press on it and remove it. Still a lot of, the, the problem that I have, I must now tell you this as well, uh, I don't think I've mentioned it so far, but you will see over here, the rust causes uh, almost... A type of splinters or I don't know what you can call it uh, it's almost like it's sand 
and obviously this is going to cause damage as it goes through the whole engine so cleaning up this thing is very very important um, something that needs to be done one can get an indication of how much um, there was wear on this engine by inserting it over here and moving it around a little bit you will see there is a little bit of wear not too much though okay this is now upside down by the way that's not the way it should go in okay one can do it from the back it's fine let's turn it around we'll see insert it from this side it does have a little bit of movement over there not too much though okay my mechanic says it's fine it's good enough so i work with what he says he's got many many years of uh, knowledge on these things so yeah uh, this is what they call a valve stem seal you might have heard about this uh, what happens is if this thing is leaking then oil goes through this into the piston underneath because you will see at this side you can even see the rings where the pistons are so um, if this thing leaks it goes up over there it goes into that place over there if it leaks then oil goes into the piston uh, bad for the environment i don't know if it's so bad for the engine though <laughs> this extra little bit of oil over there but yeah um, you don't want something that uh, that smokes too much so that is also a consideration I ha as i've said i have to clean that up um, so imagine there's still a spring over there we have removed this but now it's, um, it's going to be easier but when you have now that special tool to remove the springs what you do is it's going to press onto this and at the back it's going to hold up the that's going to press down on that little plate and then you've got these two half rounds coming out um, let's see if you can see what it looks like very small things um, very small though okay and uh, then you can remove that okay so that's how everything fits together Uh, this machine uh, contains something that has got, it looks like bristles over here. You can use a drill for that as well. I prefer this, it's definitely better, definitely more useful. 